So in the latest episode of The Mandalorian, we got a lot of cameos. Not Star Wars cameos, but in fact celebrity cameos, which is very uncommon for Star Wars in general actually. So spoiler warning ahead. Whilst we're met with a wide range of alien species, which we'll get into later, we're actually introduced to Jack Black, Christopher Lloyd and Lizzo. Jack Black did a brilliant job at portraying his character Bombardier, giving that high energy and charisma he's always known for. Christopher Lloyd was an interesting appearance because some Star Wars leakers knew he'd be appearing in season 3, and they theorised that he would be a Mandalorian elder, and how embarrassingly wrong they were. And finally, Lizzo being Lizzo. Whilst their characters do appear to be a one and done scenario, especially with how busy Black is in the film industry, it's great to finally see the guy canon in Star Wars. Lizzo hasn't said much in the past to indicate she's a Star Wars fan, but Jack Black certainly has, and expressed his love for the show through lightsaber edits on his Instagram, and even said that Darth Vader was a slight inspiration on his portrayal of Bowser in the now released Mario Bros movie. And finally, a secret cameo was found in the opening scenes of the episode. Did you catch it? The runaway Mon Calaboy was none other than Tom Holland's brother, Harry. And finally, the droid bartender was director Bryce Dallas Howard's husband, Seth Gable. But what do you think of these cameos in The Mandalorian? Do you think it adds to the episode, or are you not interested in celebrities appearing in Star Wars? Let me know in the comments down below, or if you want more Star Wars shorts, check out this one appearing on the end screen now.